Hello, my name is Ilona and in this video I want to take a look at the month of September 2024. What can we expect? Of course, I already shot the cards in my Dutch video, so if you want to see that you can watch the Dutch video. I've got them in front of me and the first row, that's three cards, is about the energy of September. Uh, the second row is about the challenges. The third row is about the advice and the fourth row is about the end of September in what kind of energy we will be. Well, the first row is the uh, seven of cups, the, uh, let's see, let's put it like this, the five of wands, and we have the three of swords. You can see soft, soft cards. So I think September is going to be a tough, tough month. <laughs> it's not going to be easy. We've got a lot of confusion with the Seven of Cups. We've got the Five of uh, Wands that is about strife, about things happening worldwide. I think things will escalate. We've got, of course, uh, of course civil unrests in certain countries. I think that's going to extend. I think there's going to be a lot of confusion with all the, the information that's coming out, the manipulations and old pain. That's the Three of Swords. Old pain will be coming up. It will be so up in front and it's necessary to heal to really uh, you know bring us in that new energy the new earth that we really want to most of us are longing for so this month is going to be very tough i do believe it's going to be a tough month with the, all the things happening the strife like i said the five of wands there's going to be a lot of maybe even inner conflicts but also outer conflicts a lot of confusion and a lot of old pain so that's the month of September. And then we have the challenges. Well, the challenges is the seven of pentacles. We've got the eight of wands and we've got the tower. So one of the biggest challenges, because these are the challenges for September, is the um, having patience. But this card is very interesting. This is about having patience. And as you can see, and that's just for, you know, this is like a worldwide energy uh, reading that I'm doing. Uh, you can see that he's focused on his own garden in a way, on his own bush where things are growing. And I think we should focus on that. Be patient with what's happening in our own lives and just step away from what's happening around the world. Because it's going to be a lot of confusion, a lot of things happening. And it's really about having patience and seeing things grow and watching your own life. Are there things happening in your life that just don't resonate with you anymore, don't fit with you anymore? Very important to, to also work with that. But these are the challenges to keep faith and to be patient. And I think that's going to be a big, big challenge because a lot of things are going to happen. With the Eight of uh, Wands, that is a challenge. I think a lot of confusing things are going to happen. It's just going to happen all at once, all kinds of things. And that can lead, of course, to things falling apart. And I think a lot of people are going to have a tough time, especially the people that are still focused on outside security. You know, that root chakra, feeling secure, feeling like you have a lack and there's not enough. Of course, we've been programmed by the dark energies to function like that because they didn't want us to uh, realize that we create everything ourselves so they wanted us to believe that we are dependent on things outside of ourselves so if they start moving and messing around with that it can be very um, scary very frightening for a lot of people and this is like falling apart you see the tower falling apart so that's a challenge. The challenge is again to remain calm and to, you know, if you do feel fear, if things are coming up, work through them, feel through them and heal those parts. Usually it's connected to old uh, lifetimes, uh, lifetimes from Atlantis or Lemuria or other lifetimes. And it's really about healing that. It's very important that we focus on ourselves now. And so the third row is the king of wands. We've got the two of cups, uh, two, of cup, two of pentacles <laughs> and the ten of swords. This is the advice for September. This is about stepping into our own power. The king of wands. It's really about realizing that we are the ones creating everything around us in our lives and that we start working with our own energy. 
uh, that we are not focused on things outside of ourselves anymore. The awareness, creating awareness in ourselves, that's what spirituality is. Understanding that we are safe, that we, when we, uh, you know, live from our intuition, our connection with God, we are children of God, we are protected, we are safe. That will give you air, like the Two of Pentacles. It's also about balance and about bringing lightness and humor in the situation. So that's the advice to look at things not in a, you know, frightened way, but more in a, you know, more of a nonchalant way, like, oh, it's going to work out fine. It's very important to keep that lightness and not get stuck in the very heavy feelings or feeling despair or getting dragged down by it. If you do feel those feelings, it's fine. Feel through them, but don't get stuck in them. Don't get dragged down by these uh, feelings. And that's also what the Ten of Swords is about. That's about making decisions in your life. Are there things that you do, certain behavior you want to change, certain situations with people or in your life that you really have to cut yourself from? This is the advice now for September to just end things as well. If it doesn't feel right to you, this is one of my pitfalls in the past is that certain people didn't feel right to me, but I didn't really have an excuse or a reason for a rational reason to, you know, do something about it because I really didn't know what was going on. I don't think about that anymore. If it doesn't feel right, then I listen to it. And we need to listen to that as well. So if someone brings your energy down, stay away from them or see if you can change things, but really do something about it. And sometimes it's time to just cut the cord. Very important. So that's the advice for September to cut the cords bring lightness and step into your power that you understand that you are truly in control. There's nothing to fear. And then the last, that's the end of September. We've got the death card. We've got the four of pentacles and we have the star card. So I believe at the end of September, more things about aliens are coming out as well with the star card. That's usually my alien card. We see the death card. So things are really progressing now. I think it will show things more in the outer world that things are changing. It's the energy is changing. We have the, um, I think it's just going to show more and more what's been going on. Changes are being made. We've got the four of pentacles and that's really about the dark energy still trying to hold on to the old power. And a lot of people are trying to hold on to the old and it's not going to work anymore. We're going to see more panic. I do believe September is going to be a very intense month. I also believe that we are heading towards you know, things are going to collapse. We don't know when. I'm not going to say like what's going to happen then and then because that's been going on for such a long time now and people are focused on that. And I don't think we should focus on that. We know things can happen, but focus on your life and focus on your awareness. Because I do believe that is the great awakening. That is the most important thing. But at the end of September, still holding on to all things, but I think it's falling apart. It's going to show more and more. I think things will escalate. Maybe financial things are happening as well. That's the pentacle card. Like I said, we do know that the old system is going to collapse one way or the other. We don't know when. Don't focus on that. But I do think in September, a lot of things are going to be brought out. It's going to be hectic. It's going to be quite a tough month. That's the feeling I'm getting. And at the end of the month, the death card means the old is already falling apart. It's shown more and more. And also there are going to be more positivity because the star is also about hope. So I do think the, the people that understand what's going on, that are awake, are aware, they will see that things are clearing up. But I think for a lot of people who are completely unaware, this is going to be very frightening. They may want to hold on to the old as well. And it's just going to fall apart. So I think it's going to be a very, very interesting month ahead of us. And of course, I hope to see you in another video. Bye.